something very simple. Give me the book of Luke chapter 8, verse 21. I've been sent to perform a wonder. <laughs> Woo! I pray you are with me. I've been sent to perform a wonder. One thing is going to happen in your life. I guarantee you it's going to give you results. Hallelujah. And as the Lord has really uh, given me the grace, I'm going to be able to move something. And I'm going to move it from somewhere. And it is going to come and catch up with you. That is my assignment for today. And Prophet Dawn answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are these which hear the word of God and do it. It is you I'm talking about. Hallelujah. And it is you that I am sent to. So today, I don't know how to explain it. But I know without a doubt that God has sent me here to perform a wonder for somebody. If you are ready, you are the man. Give me the next verse. I'm going to show you something. And the Bible says, now it came to pass on a certain day. The way that the, that the, the Spirit of the Lord allows me to read. And it came to pass on, on Monday. Say on this day. And it came to press. Now it came to press on this day. The prophet Don went into a ship with his disciples. I don't know if you're here. <laughs> and he said unto them, let us go over unto the other side of the lake. Hallelujah. You are about to cross over from miracles to wonders. Are you in the boat? Touch your neighbor say, are you in the boat? If you are in the boat, we are moving from miracles to wonders. That is the season that is upon us right now. And the Bible says, and they launched forth. I'm going to show you something. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind. I want you to underline storm of wind. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water. And were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose. Someone said, rebuked the wind. And the raging of the water. Someone said, when he arose, the Lord is about to arise on your behalf. Someone said, when he arose, he rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. And they ceased and there was a calm. This is the place that you are getting into today. And I want to show you something very, very simple out of this scripture. Take me back to the previous scripture. The previous. I have been sent here to speak to you about something. But I'm only going to speak about it a little bit. Just so you understand what it is God wants to do. So the Bible says. That Jesus says. Let us now go over to the other side. That means for every level you have arrived at. For every level of glory you are at right now, there is still another level to go to. The Lord will always, always have another level that he wants you to go to. So even if you've reached millions, God still has a plan to take you over millions. Even if you've reached a better level, he still has a plan to take you to another level. There is no coming to an end with God. We cannot finish him. Even when we get to learn him and we know him better, we still look like we don't know him at all. Because the way that he plans for men to reach him is that when you appear before him and you seem to know him, he will change the dimension. I pray you are with me. When you get to know him as a miracle worker, he will change the direction. He will change his dimension. And you will now have to see him and get to know him as a wonder working God. That is the thing that the angels always speak of that was seen in the realms of the spirit that every time they behold him it is as though he's different from the last time they saw him because the last time you saw him was different from the time you are going to see him so if you saw him yesterday in another way you are about to experience him in a better way today there is always something new. So he tells his disciples, let us move on to the other side. So that he can give them a different experience. 
so that he can bring them to a better dimension of who he is. Every time the Lord is moving you and calling you into relationship with him or a deeper relationship or a more intimate relationship, it means that there are things you have seen about him. There are things you have learned about him. But now he wants to show you another side of him, a better side of him, the side that you don't previously know. So if you have known God as a miracle worker, you are going to know him as a wonder working God. He changes the channels. He shifts the channels that you may know him in every realm that he knows that he is. The miracle man is about to change. He will give you gold. I pray you are with me. The things that he does will change. But the Bible says that when he said, let us go to the other side, all of them got into the boat. Someone said, got into the boat. They did not hesitate. They did get into the boat. But the minute they got into the boat, touch your neighbor, say, the storm. Say, storm. Quarter neighbor, Munyenye Mugambe, storm. Hallelujah. But the scripture says, the storm of wind. Someone says, storm of wind. It is a storm of wind. That means that the wind is the, is the cause of the storm. And that means that if you want to rebuke, you do not rebuke the storm, you rebuke the cause. If you rebuke the, the, the result, mm, I want to help somebody. If you rebuke the results that you see, you will not have altered the situation. What you need to rebuke is the thing that is causing the storm. So if you say that there is a problem and you are getting in a financial crisis, you rebuking the financial crisis is of no effect. You need to go back to the cause of the financial crisis and you rebuke the final oh, shama. You rebuke from the root and it will cut it off and you will see the results. Are we together? So it says we, that there was a storm of wind. It means that there every situation that you are going through, regardless of what the situation is, or that presents itself before you, there is a cause. There is a root to it. It doesn't just appear. And you see, the devil is the master of deception. He will make you believe that this is the problem you have to deal with. And you will sweat praying and fasting over the storm instead of rebuking the wind and you will be very busy saying in the name of jesus i step on this devil you're joking that is a joke touch your neighbor say joke joking joked you just joked you just spent your hours joking and when you are done you feel like you've done a lot of exercise but you just joked Nothing can change when you rebuke the storm. It can only change when you rebuke the wind. Now let me show you something. Someone says storm of wind. Gamba storm of wind. I need you to understand. Now I want to talk to you about a storm that is caused by the wind. Because God is about to do a wonder out of the wind for you. That is what he sent me to do. Touch your neighbor say, there is about to become a wonder out of the wind. It is going to come out of the wind. You will not even know how, but I'm going to show you how. Amen. So he says there was a storm of the wind. If we search scripture, there are many, many times, I don't have the time to explain all these other things, but he says that the wind is what causes the storm. Hear me. So the wind can cause a storm. The wind can cause a hurricane. The wind can cause a tornado. The wind can cause tsunami. Are you following me? That means that in terms of its velocity, in terms of its movement, its strength, we define what the wind causes by how big it is or how strong it is. That means for this time, there was a storm. In the book of Acts chapter 27, we speak about Paul and how he was moving from this side and the Lord had sent him to Rome. When he gets on the ship, according to that entire story, the wind broke into pieces because there was a storm. Are you following me? That means that there is a size of wind. 
There is a size of the wheat that can destroy an entire sheep. There is a side of wheat that can destroy everything that exists in a place. When we talk about its velocity, we're talking about its strength. The carrot, a wind, look at me, wind is just air in motion. But we can increase it. The more it increases, it creates a storm. When it increases, it creates a cyclone. When it increases, it creates a hurricane. When it increases, it creates a tsunami. Touch your neighbor say, do you know how much a tsunami can do? Do you know what it can do? I need you to first understand this part. Do you know how much it can do? If a hur you know, these things are not uh, normal things for us. But there are people who live in a place where there is a tornado every other month. Now, it means that when it comes, everything that is in the house, and the house, and you too, you all disappear. And not just one house, like an entire village, it can... I need you to understand what I, what, something is happening in my spirit. So it, it can sweep away an entire village. It can sweep away an entire town in one second. Someone say one second. That is how a wind works. So the reason they were waking Jesus up is because they know, because these men were fishermen before they became disciples. They knew they could tell that this kind of weed is about to do something to us. We can tell the end of it. So we wake him up before it becomes something else. Ah, touch somebody. Say so you wake him up. You call him when you have not seen the final thing. As long as there is a sign, you do something about the sign. Let me show you. So he says that there is a storm of wind. That means if it can destroy. In the book of Job, the Bible speaks very clearly that there was a wind that came from the wilderness. And then it destroyed the houses that Job had. All of them, apart from one man that survived to come and bring the news. That means that in one second, if a cyclone came here, or a tornado came here, all of us would not be there in one second. I'm being a neighbor, one second. This is going to help you. And that means that when that happens, everything is, gets destroyed at once. Now, I want you to follow me. The wind is a natural thing. Someone say natural. Amina. What happens when that wind is created supernaturally? What will happen if it is a supernatural wind we are talking about? And what will happen if its intention is different? The Bible says there was a wind that came from the wilderness and destroyed everything that Job had. Do you hear me? But before that wind came, follow me. Before the wind came, there was a talk between the devil and, and God. And God gave the devil authority to touch Job and everything that he had apart from his life. Do you hear me? Someone said permission. But it is God that gave the devil permission. That means he gave him power to create storms out of the wind. The power belongs to God. Hallelujah. Now it means that if it is a supernatural wind, first touch your neighbor say it is supernatural. Today it will not be a natural wind. We are going to cause a supernatural wind to move and it will have different results for you. Are you with me? There is a wind that can be engaged or released supernaturally the bible says in the book of numbers chapter 11 give me the scripture verse 31 the bible says that the wind the lord ordered and the wind came the bible says and there went forth can we read together quickly and there went forth a wind from mm -mm 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 -mm. please speak up someone say and there went forth a wind from the Lord. This time the Lord is sending the wind. I want to show you the difference. When the devil creates the wind, it is to destroy. When the Lord sends the wind, it is to bring. 
are you following me? The Bible says, and there went forth a wind from the Lord. Can we read it together? Someone say, and brought. Gamba, and brought. Hallelujah. It says, and brought the quails from the sea. Now, that word quails, if you remember, it was the time when they got manna. And manna came from heaven. The quails came from the sea. Touch your neighbor, say, and God brought something. You know what something? You are just saying something. I mean your thing. I don't mean my thing. I mean your thing. This is what God has showed me. And he said, and brought quails. That was the thing that they needed. Because they said, we want the meat of Egypt. Then the Lord sent quails from the sea. Touch your neighbor say, the cause of the quails was the wind. What brought the quails was wind. What is going to bring your wonder today is the wind. I pray you're in this house. And the Bible says, and brought quails from the sea and let them fall by the camp as it were a day's journey on this side and as it were a day's journey on the other side. Round about the camp and as it were two cubits high upon the face of the earth. Touch your neighbor say, that is how much is coming from the sea when we release the supernatural wind. Hallelujah. I need you to, to, to hear this. It means that the cause of many things in our lives, if we do not know it, we will stay with the results of it. But if you know that there is a, 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 a wind that can create a storm and it, draw, it destroys things in your house, it destroys your education, it destroys your business, unless you know that there is another wind that can bring you will be you will not be able to receive the restoration but now that you know that there is another wind that your neighbor say the wind brings this kind of wind we are talking about brings that your neighbor say where do you stay this is i think common knowledge for all of us so i want to show you something it is common knowledge for all of us whether you've been there or not been there you have had it Hmm? There are in why say I don't know. When it rains, they said you can be in your house. Eh? And when it starts to rain, you just wait to receive. Have you heard this? You just wait to receive. All of a sudden, chicken appears. All of a sudden, a fridge appears. Have you heard these things? You just stay where you are. As a matter of fact, the people that stay there, I think, pray that it should rain. Because as, they, as the water, look, the wind causes the water to come. It is what causes the flood to appear. But when the, the water comes, it is going to sweep. It is going to bring. It will bring from other people's houses. It will bring from the neighbor's houses. Even the ones that we have not entered. And it will bring to the man that is a Hamayashata. <laughs> Are you with me? That your neighbor said that is just water. We are talking about a hurricane. We are talking about a tsunami. The supernatural tsunami is about to sweep. It's about to sweep. And when it sweeps, I am my yata. Mwamila neighbor. If water can bring a fridge, how much is a tsunami going to bring? You don't understand. If a small thing can cause a storm, just a low velocity of air can cause a old storm and it breaks down a ship. What is a tsunami going to do? This is a supernatural tsunami. We are talking about the wind being sent from the north, being sent from the east, and it gathers this side, and it gathers this side. You don't yet understand. Somebody touch your neighbor, say, my tsunami is coming. Hallelujah. There is a tsunami that is here. Nabila neighbor, three days. Today, tomorrow, the other day. Just tell your neighbor, three days. Focus on me. Do you see the scripture? It says that it took one day's journey to heap up this side, and another day's journey to heap up this side. Mmm. 
Mm-hmm. Are you with me? You are about to get caught up in a flood of wonders. Are you with me? So it means that when the enemy is in charge of wind, amen, he will create disaster. He will destroy what is yours. His job is to still kill, destroy. That is what he will do. But if you are wise and you have understood the secrets of the kingdom, you will know that there is another wind that is a supernatural wind that the Lord causes to happen. And when it happens, the things that are not meant to come to you, come to you from the place where you are seated. You don't need to look for anything. In the name of Jesus Christ, can I prophesy over a man? Today shall be the day when we sweep the other side and sweep the other side and it ends up in your hands in the name of Jesus. I want to hear a shout. This is the wind that brings things to you. You are not thinking about anything right now. I don't even care what it is you are thinking. I've been sent to make some things move from the north to the south, from the east to the west and cause them to appear. That is the job I came to do. When God releases a wind, touch your neighbor say it has a goal. It has a goal. Now, I want you people who do not understand how prophetic things work to understand this. When you are given, when they give you a word, when a prophet says the job will come today, Hmm? You have no idea how many weapons have been engaged. You have no idea what kind of things have been engaged. That is why I usually say, if you did not start the word, please do not try to actually work on the word. Did you hear me? Everyone will have a video. I don't know YouTube. You know when you get a word. Now you do like this. Now you do like this. Why don't they tell you how to get the word? They should start with this is how you get the word. Because if they don't know how they get the word, then they cannot know what has been engaged in that word to bring the results. If I say for you today that before morning something is about to happen, it means that literally I've engaged the, the angels that stand on the four corners of the wind. And I am telling them, whatever you do in this night, do it and bring the answer to this man what we are doing. The Bible is talking about actual things. So when we are engaging the wind, the wind in itself is a wonder. Because we look at wind in this country, we don't have problems with the wind. In fact, the one day it rains and the neighbor's banana plantation falls or the tree in the way falls, we look at it like, mm, bad luck. Touch your neighbor say, today, supernatural tsunami. Ah! in a neighbor supernatural tsunami i want you to understand what i'm talking about that means that if we release wind at whichever level we release it it can bring some things to you we don't want some things we want all things i don't want some things to appear to you i told you before this year ends you are going to experience things you have never experienced this year want to know next year this is the season Nabira neighbor give me three days a tsunami is about to bring things I've never seen Whoa! I pray you are with me you can imagine Nabira neighbor I don't know how to say in Luganda whatever you are complaining about hmm? when the Lord answers he's going to cause a wind to move and bring it in abundance in abundance, he brought them quails. Can you imagine that they couldn't even finish them? They couldn't finish them. What a neighbor. Speak in English. I think in Luganda, you will think that hens are running around. You speak in English. Tell your neighbor, say, if what you are looking for was chicken, chicken wings, you're going to have lunch, say chicken wings. Drumsticks, KFC, Java. Mubulide, mm. Mugambe, it is going to come in abundance. 
in abundance you will not be able to finish it this is what I'm talking about but the cause of the KFC the cause of Javas is what? wind we move a wind let me show you how this happens the Bible says Revelation 7 1 after these things I saw huh? say four angels standing on the four corners of the earth I talk about this every day and I don't know if you already know where it is. He says there is one standing at the south corner. There is one standing at the east corner. There is one standing at the west corner. There is one standing in the north corner. So the Bible is trying to help us understand. After these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the wind. Someone say holding. You need to read with me. Holding the four winds of the earth. Holding the wind is not there moving on its own. Ah uh ah, -uh, it is controlled. It is controlled. That means when God allowed Satan to touch Job, he released that hold and gave the authority to the devil. But the authority belongs to God. So God today has sent me to motion the angels to release what is in their hands that there can be a supernatural tsunami that can release according to what you need. You had better than somebody. Are you hearing me? These angels aha, uh -huh. Gamba angels and ministering spirits to who? I am a kashata. Whoa! Not to everyone. Do you realize it's not for everybody? It is not for people who don't know God. It is not for people that don't love God. Those that are called unto salvation. It is for us. It is not for everybody. So your, your neighbor who does not know God, uh -uh, when the wind comes, it will not benefit them. It will benefit only you. That is by the design of God. Touch your neighbor. Say, whoever is mocking you. Say, whoever is mocking you. Tell your neighbor, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The day has come. The wind is going to swing. And they will be out of the receiving. They will not be included. Now, the Bible says, after these things, I saw four angels. I hope now you know. That the wind is actually controlled. Hmm. Let me show you something. not be able to hold the microphone and describe describe what I want to describe. So you have to hear me. Have you seen ever funny movies? When in the spirit, okay, I don't know if you understand these things the way I understand them. But like when in the spirit, the person does this. Do you know what they do? They are controlling the wind. And that is what they do. That they do this so that they can gather the wind. It is a power. <laughs> it is a force that you can gather and you gather as much wind as you are capable to gather. Are you hearing me? So if I gather a little ball, it can only produce a little results. If I gather and I gather and I gather, I gather cyclone, I say, uh-uh, not enough to bring your visa. Let me gather something else. Not enough to bring your white man from abroad. And I gather a tsunami. I say, this one will do the job. Then I release it. There is no way it can fail. This is the power. Those things Everything that you see as a created thing can be used as a weapon by God. Even the moon can work against you. The earth can work against you. You have seen in the book of Exodus, when, in the book of Numbers, when the earth opened and swallowed those of Korah and company. What has the earth got to do with anything? It is a created thing. It can be told what to do. Now, the Bible says there are four angels. And when he says there are four angels, they hold what? Wind. And what does the wind do? It creates a storm. It creates a tsunami. Creates a hurricane. Something is about to be sent to you. Hallelujah. 
Let me show you something. Ezekiel chapter 37. If you read that scripture on its own, you will think that it's just dead bones, dry bones coming to life. I want you to, sh- I want you to understand where the power is coming from. Verse 9, verse 8, 7, 8, 9. So the Lord, touch your neighbor, say the winds only respond to prophecy. The winds. Look, these things are in levels. Do you know why Ezekiel, rather Elijah, moved, moved from Bethel, went to Gilgal, went to Jericho, went to Jordan? Because the winds were saying this is the direct spot for you to actually go to heaven. Direct things. They are not things we are trying to do. You know what? Katulabe katonda chagendo kola nedda ngambira neighbor nedda if he says you go today you go today he says the doors are open today he means today not tomorrow this is not ping pong we are not trying to play some games so Elijah knew he, Jesus Christ do you understand what I'm saying he knew where the heavenly bus is going to find him he didn't stay here and be like ah god i trust you to do no by the spirit he knew that i have to move myself to where the heavenly station is where the chariots of fire will find me touch your neighbor say chariots of fire move by the wind they move by the wind they don't move by the gamble ah ngambira neighbor wind is the controller now those winds can only be put into motion by prophecy. I don't have the time to explain this, but the Bible says that there were dry bones in a valley. And God sent a... You are not here. God sent a prophet. Touch your neighbor say, the, where there were dry bones, can I promise you something? Whatever has proven dead in your life, Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command life in the name of Jesus. I don't care how long it has been dead. It has not been dead as long as the dry bones. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever business died, whatever door closed, whatever it is that was stopped, in the name of Jesus Christ, three days you have your answer in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to hear shout. Come back to me. The reason why I tell you that these things we are talking about can only be commanded by prophecy is in scripture. When God realized that this was a valley of dry bones, dead dry bones, he did not say to Ezekiel, Ezekiel, start to intercede. Intercede. neighbor, neighbor, that is an actual job. But some people say, over the college, I'm not going to get a lot of people to get a little bit of 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 a That is not a thing to play around with. It is a job. Mm -hmm. Ngambina neighbor. This does not happen by intercession. Say, it doesn't happen by prayer. It doesn't happen by prayer and fasting. It happens by prophecy. So if there is no prophecy in your life, that wind will not be able to move. Jesus, God also knew to send a prophet and he gave him instructions. The Bible says, he said, prophesy to the, to the bones. And the Bible says the minute that he did, the bones came together, bone on bone, snow on snow, everything on everything. And it stood a great army, but there was no life in the army. It was there, but there was nothing else. And the Bible says, so I prophesied as I was commanded. I just want you to understand this. As I was, I, I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise and a beholding, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. Next. 
And when I beheld, lo, the snews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Next verse. Then said he unto me, the way he has sent me, this is the final thing. I have nothing else to do. He has sent me. Ngambira neighbor. So conquered a neighbor. Ngambira neighbor. The wind you cannot see. But the effects of the wind you can see. So can I prophesy? You are going to get results that you will not know where they've come from. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command wonders to appear and to flood your houses. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout! Woo! Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the what? The cause. He said, prophesy unto the wind. He knows that the prophet, according to the protocols of heaven, there is a place for the prophet. There is a place for elders. There is a place for angels. I don't know. Not everybody can tell angels what to do. But the angels that are assigned to me, I, uh, I don't know how to explain this. The angels that are assigned to you belong to a certain rank in the spirit. And when the Lord's word comes to me and says, speak to the weed, I am not essentially, focus on me, I'm not essentially speaking to the weed. I can command the weed. But when I command the weed, the angels hear the answer. And they work on the answer. And they make sure that they release the wind so that it can follow the word and bring it to pass the way I have said it. If you have understood this, your answer has arrived. The Bible says, he said prophesy to the wind. To the wind, not the storm. Not the tsunami, not the problem. You have no business talking to the problem. You must talk to the problem, the, the root cause of the problem. And that is why when you actually encounter me, many people can be like, I have no money, I have no what, I have no what. Yes, you don't have those things. Let us work on the root. When the root is okay, everything is going to be okay. There will be no trouble. That is the answer. And he says, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind. What manner of man is this? Even the winds obey him. I am taking you into scripture, someone. He says, say to the wind. Do you remember that scripture? When Jesus rebukes the storm, they say, what manner of man is this? But there is Ezekiel who spoke to the wind before Jesus spoke to the wind. Uh -uh, I don't have time to explain this. There is a prophet that spoke. The other one is the chief prophet. But there was a prophet that spoke about this dimension before the chief prophet showed up. That means the power is there somewhere. We just don't have the eyes to see it. He said, said to the wind, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four corners. Come from the four winds of breath. And breathe upon these slaves that they may live. Can I prophesy somebody? Ah! Take it back, please. Take it back. And he said, Thus says the Lord God. Can you hear me? I am giving you the word of God. Thus says the Lord God. Come from the four winds today and cause wonders to come upon every man that is hearing me in the name of Jesus. Somebody receive the word of the Lord. Woo! You don't hear me properly. Say come from the four winds. Say, come from the four winds and come with my wedding. You are not yet here. You are not yet here. neighbor. I want to put down this microphone. I don't know what is wrong with the microphone. I want to talk without it. Focus on me. Ngambira neighbor, wali wo empewo. Gamba tsunami. Esobolo okuja. Nekwa tomu saja. Ah, nina kwenjogera na yenebu abo mwaja chitegera. Gamba nekwa tomu saja. Ne munyweza, kama ne munyweza, ne muleta, ne muleta. Baba tochi take a decision show. Ne baba tochi take a decision dulu. Answer, answer, answer. Wow! You will not see the wind. You will.
will see the effects of the wind. Come from the four winds and come with dollar. Let me speak in English. That says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O oh dollars. Are you with me, somebody? Come from the four winds, O oh visa. Come from the four winds, O oh power. Whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I prophesy. I speak to the four winds of the earth. Release according to the need in the name of Jesus. I command elevation. I command promotions. I command new jobs. Before these three days end, I command a turnaround in the name of Jesus. Somebody needs to dance. Somebody needs to celebrate. The four corners of the wind are working for you. Hallelujah, somebody! Shia Mayana! Touch your neighbor, say, you are about to experience the wonder of the wind. You have no idea what the wind can do in your life. From the place, look, for Job, everything that destroyed his things, did he command it? Did he ask for it? Did he move a finger? Nothing happened. Because there was authority given unto the devil to release according to the need. Today, there's a man standing in front of you. And this man has been commanded to speak to the four winds of the earth. To gather and collect something for you that must be a wonder to you. Can I tell you something? Namina neighbor, the tsunami is going to move you when you don't even want to move. Give someone a high five Say you're ending up in the palace Tonight You are ending up in the palace In the name of Jesus You will not know how the events will happen But the Lord will push Push, push Do you know that you cannot find a fight against the wind? Especially if there is current, if it's current is saying go this side, you cannot go the opposite side. It is more powerful than you. That means that there is a wind that is going to come behind you. Mm-hmm. I'm neighbor. In syndicate, in syndicate, in syndicate, America. Do you understand? And I hope you don't think America is America. I am talking about the logical understanding that there is a place where God requires you to go. But if everything else has failed, this wind shall not fail. This tsunami shall not fail. Supernatural tsunami, somebody, it will push you into the doors of your destiny in the name of Jesus. I want to hear a shout in this house. Oh my yes, Father, I want to bless you. 